Good morning, this is Eric. How's it going? I've got some more progress on my car and I wanted to share a uh, some advice on bending up these transmission lines. You can see how they came off pretty good. So uh, for those that are interested, I'm going to show you how to do it. So the first thing you'll want to do is pick up some straight tubing. This is a 5 16 which is typical for the GM trans cooling lines. And um, I don't know, it might be like a five foot chunk, but get like at least four of them because you're gonna have a couple screw ups. So the first thing I do is take a coat hanger and straighten it out, lay it in place to get a ballpark of how you want to have it fit in and then I develop this little table and I go one distance I do a 90 degree bend go the next length and so forth and I did that for both lines and here's the rough numbers I got so then the next thing you want to do is pick up one of these tubing benders uh, I think I bought it from amazon.com it works really good Here's the, the box that it came in if you want to go look it up and find it. But uh, it has these degrees on it and has like the left and the right indicator depending on which way you're going to be measuring from. And comes with these really good instructions. So you can read these and get some good tips on doing all these kind of bends. It has, a, has an offset table to do bends like that. So uh, get one of those, and then using this table, you can make all the bends you want to do. For example, if I want to do a six inch bend, um, I've got this thing rigged up, it's a magnetic base. I have the brake line pushed against it, and I made a little mark, which you can see right at the L, and you can see six and a half inches and you just go ahead and bend this thing around and uh, you end up with a piece like this with all the bends and uh, it's really all there is to it and then once you get the length you want you have to flare the last end and I do that using this Eastwood uh, flaring tool so uh, before you put the flare on you want to sand off all that paint and then take this tool right here to deburr the inside of it and then simply clamp it in the vise like such and before you flare it don't forget this tube nut and then uh, you go to the right I want operation one for 5 16 so you can see it right there and just go ahead and grab the lever and just kind of push it in it's made the first part of the crimp go to operation two do it again and then there you can see the crimp or i mean the flare <laughs> 